Hello, I'm Paula Black. A lot of Christians ask this question, why hasn't God healed me yet? Have you ever wondered the same thing? I guarantee you're not alone. You may ask, why would God's promises work for certain people and not for others? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain the most common mistakes people make that stand in the way of their healing. You won't want to miss this. It could change your life. Several principles come into play when dealing with the question, why hasn't God healed me yet? Well, first, remember that the real you is a spirit who lives in a body. If you're a Christian and your body is sick, of course you want healing. The good news is that God is a healing God and he responds to faith. So that's part of your answer. For example, you can look at Jeremiah 30, 17. That'll inspire you. The other part is you have a natural body that's limited to the laws of the world we live in. You know, God created boundaries that govern our bodies and he honors what he created. For example, we're not meant to fly like birds or swim like fish. We have to breathe air and function within the boundaries that God gave humans. We have to partner with God in order to get well. If you choose to live in a way that's not in agreement with the way God designed your body to live, you're going to suffer limitations to his healing. That's right, I'm talking about things like what you eat and drink, whether you smoke and take drugs or medication, how you handle stress, and so forth. All of that and more play a part. Well, think about the example of sin. If you want to be saved from sin and you accept God's gift of salvation, you can't continue practicing sin and still maintain an intimate relationship with God and expect Him to bless your life. Now, people often think God only deals in the spiritual and doesn't have much to do with the physical realm. Well, God is the creator of both the spiritual realm and the natural realm. He made your body with the ability to heal itself by giving you an incredible immune system that's designed to correct your body when it's sick or being attacked by disease. The problem comes when your immune system is too depleted and weak to do its job due to neglect or abuse of your body. And that happens when we don't understand how our immune system and body are designed and how they're supposed to work. This can cause us to mishandle this amazing vehicle that we live in. Okay, think about a fish. It's a species that God created and he designed, and he set boundaries for it. If the fish is removed from the water, it begins to die. If the water's too polluted, the fish will die. The fish is designed by God to require clean water to live. Those are some of its basic boundaries. Well, likewise, people are designed by God and require specific things in order to remain healthy. We have boundaries that govern our bodies. When we violate those boundaries, our body begins to deteriorate and could possibly die. As a quick example, our bodies need enough clean water, nutrients, and sufficient sleep to remain healthy. At the same time, we also have to avoid things that are toxic to us, like GMOs, pesticides, food additives, stress and trauma. When we violate God's design and the boundaries he's set for us, even if it's unknowingly, well, the consequences can be deadly. We live in a cause and effect world, and ignorance doesn't exclude us from the consequences. Consider this, if someone has lung cancer for 20 years of smoking and prays for healing, but they won't stop smoking, well, we can understand why they don't get healed. They're making a choice with their actions to abuse their body. And the actions they're taking are agreeing with abuse rather than healing. God won't hijack our free will, even though he loves us and wants us well. He lets us choose how we live. In this current generation, we deal with a unique and highly toxic environment. 
It's unlike any generation before us. Our grandparents could more easily live a full life without disease. But today, we're all bombarded with toxins in our foods, water, and environment. And then you add bad habits, sleep deprivation, stress, trauma, and so much more. So many things weaken our immune system in this current day and age, and it's getting worse by the year. That's why disease continues to rise. We don't have the privilege of not being proactive. God's given each of us stewardship over our bodies. We're held responsible for how we manage it. This responsibility requires us to educate ourselves. If someone gave you a brand new phone, you'd learn about it, wouldn't you? And educate yourself on its function and how to keep it working. How much more valuable is your body than a phone? You only get one of these. I'm sorry to say that ignorance isn't a valid excuse and it can't protect us. But when we do learn something, unfortunately, we become accountable for that knowledge. You have to choose. You can stay ignorant and hope for healing. Good luck with that. Or you can become knowledgeable about God's miraculous design and get into agreement with it. When you do that, two things are going to happen. First, it opens the floodgates of faith to receive healing. And your body begins to heal itself as God designed it to. To me, that's a real miracle. We're told many things in the Bible about our bodies, but one scripture I want to share is from 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is within you, whom you have received as a gift from God, and that you are not your own property? You were bought with a price. You were actually purchased with the precious blood of Jesus and made his own. So then, honor and glorify God with your body. That's from the Amplified Bible, which I love. Uh, I think it opens up a deeper level of understanding God's Word. You know, every choice you make either honors God or it dishonors Him. Your choice really does matter. Take a look at Deuteronomy 30.19 to read about that, our choices. God created you for a purpose. Living healthy and long helps you fulfill what He has for you. Today, we've looked at how healing can be hindered by the choices you make with your body. But the body's only one part of you. To truly get well, you need to focus on all three parts of your person, body, soul, and spirit. To learn more, check out our other videos on the Dale Black Ministries channel at YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember, God does want you well. And healing is always his desire for you. If you're sick and need more help to receive your healing, or if you're just interested in learning more about the way God heals, consider attending a Healing Way workshop. These two-day events are available each month via live streaming or in person. You can learn how to blend the natural with the miraculous through the body, soul, and spirit approach. My husband Dale and I will teach the same truths that I used to heal terminal cancer after be being given only three to six months to live, and that was 23 years ago. And we teach the same principles of faith and healing that Dale used to restore his body after being the only survivor of a horrific airplane crash. You can find out more about the workshops on our website at daleblack.org under the Ministries tab. To be an added blessing to you, we've provided a free download on our website of 20 healing scriptures, same ones I used to build my faith when I was sick, and I believe they're going to help you too. This is Paula Black reminding you that with God, nothing is impossible. God bless.